So this is the devastation, all you know, you have already gone through this, is nothing new to you. And loss of human lives and loss of livelihoods, damage of housing, habit, and loss of property, loss of everything. If, if you face this uh, consequence, earthquake consequence, he can understand what type of loss it is. It is a devastating loss. So this is <coughs> why this, is, this, this building collapsed. Because there is a action. There is an earthquake is action. We are sitting here, this is a life road. This is action. The self weight of this building is a dead road. It's action. Just like wind is action. And in now new code, we, 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 we are not saying load, we are saying actions. Environmental actions, collision, come up, is action, is a load. Just like earthquake is an action. So earthquake is an action, for that action is a load coming on the structure. We have to resist it. I can say is more important than the design for executing the whole thing whole thing that can be the resistance to the particular loads, especially earthquake load. Next. Here you see the same thing, it is a photograph of Chung Thang. You can see the building is, is a miracle of structure. You can see that there is no concrete. Concrete has gone away, only the reinforcement is there. It required toughness also. It required toughness also. And that toughness should not be driven. So concrete, cement, concrete and the combination with the steel gives a tough toughness, impart toughness by the concrete and the steel is the ductile. So combination of that, that two things is, uh, is, is, is a production of the RCC and RCC may, uh, concrete is taken care of the compression and steel is taken care of the tension. But in special seismic zone, earthquake zone, but earthquake threat is high, there we require much ductility for the resistance. You know, in design today, we have learned in college that new design concept is coming up that is called limited design. What I have said, LRF design. Limited design is a new concept of design. Earlier it was one stress design or allowable stress design. AAC, New Code 2007, IS 800 2007, that you have read in the college. The New Code, that is called limited design. What is the philosophy of that? Limited design says, believes, that, no, if you say what the structure we are uh, constructing, what the structure we are designing, it is safe forever. It is not correct. Why not correct? We are giving the full extent of our service to construction, we are giving full knowledge of our knowledge to the design, but still it is not safe for the whole life. Why? <coughs> whole life, not whole service life of the structure. Why? Because we have so much uncertainty. We do not know.